We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 10, dry fly hook. This is my beetle bug. It's not a beetle, it's a bug, but a beetle as well. So we'll just attach our tying thread about halfway along the hook shank. This is a pattern that, uh, one of the very few patterns that has never failed me. Uh, and, uh, very selective feeding when beetles are on the water. So we need a little bunch of deer hair, black, well you can, oh of course you can take in olive or brown or red or whatever colour you like, we'll clean it and stack it and then what I want you to do is just trim off the ends, this makes it much easier to tie in we go back a little bit along the foundation and we hold it down at the side. We don't want this to go over the hook eye. So we just tie that in like so. Slacken off that bobbin. Then holding the hair up, keep it on top of the hook shank all the way down. Now you can make this beetle uh, whatever shape you like, be it round, oval, this is a elongated beetle. So, I just go back to there like that, tie that down, and then we'll go up to about there. And what we need is a black CDC hackle. Again, any colour for the type of beetle that you're uh, imitating. A couple of turns round, slack. We pull the CDC through, get rid of that, then we'll just tie down the end, we don't want this slipping when we're wrapping it, and then we go down to the rear of the abdomen, like so, and then we can go back up again. And quite a few turns at the head because it's going to unwind when we wind it on. So we attach our hackle plier like so. And we want to twist and a turn, twist and a turn all the way form the underbody. Don't worry about all these fibres sticking out, we're going to use those. Up to there and then we tie this off. It's a very simple pattern as I said uh, but one that really really does work and June is the month of the beetles. We can remove that now. We'll just go a little bit back into the CDC like so. Then we can fold everything back. I want to go back just a few millimeters like so. Then I use this. Uh, it's a carpet gripper. I think, but it just pulls out. Anything will do just to pull out the fibres. Good. Then, all right. Just make sure there's none of these fibres getting in the way. We take our deer hair now. Collect it all up and we want all this to remain parallel when we fold it over. We don't want these hairs crossing each other. Yeah. So when we pull this forward just gather them all together one that's getting out of the way there. There we are. 
So you want the beetle shell back to look like this. So what we'll do is we'll just make one turn there to hold that in position and then we'll make a couple of looser turns and then we can tighten up. There we are. Good. We fold everything back. Go forward. Whip finish. Give it another one. Get rid of the tying thread. Right. CDC trap there, that's good. That'll do it. So we want to trim off the head of the beetle. I like to leave a little bit sticking out here, not much. Just like that. And then what we do is we trim off all the CDC just to leave an indication of a body. The CDC is really to make it float extra well. So there's the beetle and the head. So now what we do is take a very sharp knife. We have to be a little bit careful here. And we just want to cut two or three deer hairs on each side of the abdomen. I think that will do us. And all we do is we pull these forward. Like so. And that's the finished. Get rid of the fluff. Not a beetle, but a beetle bug. And it's a great little pattern when the beetles are on the water. The beetle bug. Thanks for watching.